head coach of the St. Louis Rams, joining me now live here on Rams Cam. That is Jeff Fisher. Coach, thanks for joining me. Appreciate it. My pleasure. You bet. Four and six would put you in first place in the NFC South, Coach. Uh, I mean, where where do you where do you place yourself in terms of being uh, uh, a four and six team in the National Football League? Where do you place your team and how you've seen them so far this season? Well, you know, it was a big win for us yesterday. Uh, I don't think many people thought we had a chance, uh, you know, against Peyton and company. But big win all, all around for us. You know, we've. Um, We've let a few go. Uh, gosh, we were we had a 14-10 lead in, in Arizona last week and let that one fall apart. So um, guys are playing good. You know, I think if you look at the big picture, we're building to compete in our division. You know, we had had success against Seattle and then at San Francisco, uh, had a chance against Arizona, and then we came back after a tough loss in three consecutive. You know, road games and, and found a way to win that game yesterday. Yeah, and again, four and six, you have six more to go. Uh, we all know how competitive, obviously, your division is and certainly the NFC. Uh, do you think you have a, a potential playoff run in you, Coach Fisher? Well, we're, we don't talk about those things here. We're going to do everything we can to, to put a plan together and go out and, tr and try, to, you know, try to beat San Diego this week. And we'll just take them one at a time. The guys are playing hard. They believe in what we're doing. Uh, you know, we've, we've got a young team that's made some, you know, some critical mistakes at the end of games. And you know, we made the quarterback change last week. I think it was a good call. Sean brought the experience you know, to the field, and it paid off for us. So you know, we're starting to heal up, so we'll just see what happens. But it's a one-at-a-time one world. As you know. Yes, indeed, a week-to-week -week league for sure. Coach Jeff Fisher joining me here on Rams Cam. For the benefit of a national audience who might not have heard your reasoning behind going with Sean Hill, why did you feel the need to go ahead and uh, sit down uh, the young quarterback, Austin Davis, and go with Sean Hill, Coach? Well, there were there were a few things that you know had happened to us over the last couple of weeks, specifically late in the game, and you know I just felt that you know with Sean's experience um, that we we may have a better chance with him. I'm very complimentary and appreciate everything Austin did for us. He did a great job considering the circumstances, but you know Sean lost basically lost this opportunity because of injury uh, in the opener, and I uh, just wanted to change things up a little bit and give Austin a chance to take a deep breath and give it to Sean. So, you know, players responded well. Austin responded uh, with class. And, and um, so, you know, we had a good week last week and it paid off. You know, obviously you go way back with trying to uh, stop Peyton Manning from, uh, from your days being in the same division together. You with the Titans, him with the Colts. What were you able to do uh, yesterday with Peyton that so many teams have trouble doing? Well, it was a team thing. You know, we, we talked early in the week about, you know, needing to run the football, and everybody talks about that, run the football, keep him off the field. We won time of possession. We created some second and longs, which carried over into some third and longs, got off the field. We got a couple of key sacks. Um, you know, we talked to our defense about field goals against Peyton, giving up field goals or wins for the defense. Well, they didn't kick a field goal yesterday. We played that well. You know, we, we shut the run game down early, and, you know, we, for the most part, kept things in front of us. He had, you know, he had 54 pass attempts yesterday and, and turned, it, turned that into seven points. And it's just an outstanding effort by our defense. Jeff Fisher of the St. Louis Rams, head coach of the Rams, coming off that big win over the Denver Broncos, joining me here live on the Rich Eisen Show. And also, you know, Peyton Manning lost, uh, lost his tight end, Julius Thomas, to injury. Uh, and if there's anybody that knows about having to deal with injury, it's you and your team, to say the least, Coach. That goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Later on in the game, one of his top threats, Emmanuel Sanders, got knocked out of the game in what appeared to be, certainly after further review, an absolutely legal hit by your player, Rodney McLeod, lowering the boom shoulder to shoulder on Emmanuel Sanders. It just looked awfully violent. And there's a flag on the play. You we, and I have talked about this many different times, about this potentially being a reviewable call in the future in the National Football League. You on the competition committee, would you say that this call, if I had to ask you a yes or no question, next year, will that be a reviewable play, do you think? 
You know, Rich, I, I, I can't give you a yes or no answer. I, I think it will be strongly considered. It was strongly considered this past offseason, and I think we need to look at it again. You know, we had one very similar to this one go against us last week at Arizona uh, where I had the ball, a first and goal on the four, and ended up taking the ball, getting the ball pushed back to the 35-yard line. And so, you know, I think it'll be taken into consideration. We'll look hard at it, but I can't, you know, it's hard to predict, you know, where the committee and where the membership goes with it. Yeah, I know you're obviously you're, you're just part of a team there, but uh, is it something that you saw last year is when because I know the way these things work, too, is that you have to keep bringing it up and getting people's consensus. It's a year to year to year thing in this week to week league. Do you think that there was enough consensus that you saw amongst your colleagues for this thing to be a reviewable play in time for next season? Well, I, what we did this past offseason is we looked at all those fouls or all those plays, either they were called correctly or incorrectly, and for the most part, they're called correctly. Now, there was a few that, you know, we couldn't even decide on whether or not there was helmet-to-helmet -helmet, uh, contact or helmet-to-the-neck-and-shoulder to area. So, you know, at first, I think you have to identify which plays you want to consider because once you start cons opening this envelope to being able to review penalties, where do you draw the line? Can you, can you review a DPI or an OPI or an or a illegal hit to the quarterback and so on and so forth? So you have to, you have to be very specific, and, and I think that's where the process would start. Where do you stand on having an OPI and things of that nature uh, deemed reviewable? Where do you personally stand on that subject? You know, I, I'm just, uh, I have, you know, I have appreciation for how hard the official's job is right now. And I, I think we, uh, we, we need to look at what we're doing from an officiating standpoint before we go ahead and just make everything reviewable. Mm -hmm. uh, Dean's doing a great job in the department. He's got some great ideas. We have to, we have to catch our department up with our game. Our game is different. It's changed. And so I think w with respect to that, we, sh we can be able to get more consistency on the field. I'm just hesitant about just, just you know, that one fell swoop where you just all just turn all over to replay. Yeah, uh, Jeff Fisher, last question for you before I, before I let you go. Um, w the re-emphasis, or the emphasis, shouldn't say re-emphasis, obviously, on, on illegal contact, defensive holding, that had a lot of people up in arms earlier this season. How, from your position as a head coach in the NFL and also on the competition committee, how do you see that playing out now that we're in the deep into the season, deep into the season? Yeah, I think, Rich, I think things have settled down. I think the players have responded. I think they, they understand what you can and can't do. If you grab a jersey, it's most likely going to get called. The contact, we just, we just went back to what, where it was in the rule book, and we said it's going to be within five yards. It's no longer a loose seven or a, a, a you know, eight-yard foul anymore so I think I mean yesterday I think we had you know we had just we had three penalties on you know and one of them was a legal contact penalty it actually was on that that Rodney uh, McLeod hit um, so uh, it, you know I'm not seeing it as much and I think the numbers would reflect that the players are adjusting well to it coach thanks uh, for joining us congrats on the big win and good luck uh, in San Diego appreciate it appreciate it Rich thank the you the Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience.